Hi Taurus, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. The awareness of the week, we have perhaps a power struggle. This is a card of um, someone really winning a battle or coming out on top and someone not winning. You've either chosen to walk away or you have lost. And so this can go toward conflicts, discussions, heated discussions, philosophical discussions, um, things that perhaps you had hoped to do with others. And it just, for whatever reason, it came, it, it didn't work out. It came to a head or something. And so, you know, we see this icon here holding the swords. We see the other people, this person is slumped over, they're walking away. And the thing to think about when we have these daily conflicts or these, these things that pop up during a week is, is it worth it to you to win? Knowing what the consequences might be, you might lose a friendship, you might piss people off. You know, what, whatever is going on, what value does it have for you? And do you think that it's worth coming out on top? So this is a sense of conflict, of, of discord. And uh, you've either decided that if this is worth it to be left standing with the swords, or it's not worth it, I'm laying it down and walking away. You can have this, this discussion. You can come out on top. Or, you know, it just simply didn't work out and it didn't work out for you. And thus, you know, you're walking away. Again, two perspectives within this five of swords, air sign. So the good news is that, you know, this is a temporary situation. This is not a big idea. The big concept here, the big thing is happiness and abundance and joy. When we see the sun in a reading, we're really happy because the sun, it's glowing. It's giving the life force. We have abundance with the sunflowers. We have good feelings, happiness. We are in good relationships. We feel good about our work. In fact, we might even be um, very creative during this week, very inspired to do things, whether it's work-related or passion-related. You may have the energy to go forth and attack it and to get involved and, and to make it happen. So, you know, the sun, uh, it's about the light, the light that fills us up. You can see the icon child on the white horse, like, wow, I'm having so much fun. And that's really what the sun does for us. It, it's freeing. It makes us feel playful and to enjoy the wonder of life and uh, the warmth. The red banner here signals the passions. So this bodes well because this is happy, happy relationships, happiness and recognition at, uh, in your work life and perhaps in your private life as well with hobbies, but you are going to feel energized and radiant. So let your light shine to uh, everybody. And while you're doing that, that's another way of really filling up your own uh, heart with light as well. So uh, lovely to see for the week. Now let's pick two cards for guidance. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords, Swords is again an air sign. And this Four of Swords, we see the icon figure laying down in a very restful pose, almost in a prayer-like pose. The sword is below, we have three swords above. This is taking time out from a situation, a predicament, a challenge something that has caused excessive energy perhaps to be used and you need to recapture 
and to restore the energy. So uh, this is about really doing what you need to do to recover, to make yourself feel a little bit stronger. You also may be, uh, as you're resting and contemplating and meditating, you may be thinking about a new approach, you know, a revised plan. So this restful stage here of recovery might be important after the energy spent with the conflict, with the, the heated discussions. So rest, recover, it doesn't mean that the situation goes away. It simply means that uh, you may go back to it with a fresh idea and that you physically feel restored and that you have renewed energy and, and the sun will help to, to renew that energy, to get you back into whatever it may be causing it. Now, here's another big idea for the week of something that needs to happen. It's the death card, major arcana. And the death card uh, always causes perhaps a lot of concern for some, but really the death card, it's a part of life and that is that everything has a natural end. We have a beginning, we have the middle, and then we have the end. And whether the seasons change and the leaves die, or our pets have their lifespan, some things just will end and we have to accept it. And the smartest thing to do when we see the death card is to let it go is to acknowledge the loss or to uh, put it in, you know, in the book of our life, to put it on the right page and to say, yep, th it wasn't easy and the relationship had to end or the job had to end or my suffering had to end and now I'm choosing to be happy. You know, death has many ways that we can look at it. And so this could be the death of an old way of thinking which brings in opportunity for new thinking, for refreshed ideas. When death comes along, it closes the one door, but it opens another door. I think the expression is, closes one window and opens another window. And the window is into something new. In order to grow something new and to make it flourish and to hopefully have it be the right thing within your life, you might have to let something go. You might have to let uh, something important to you to let it go. As painful as it might seem, it's the best play. So now let's choose two cards for possible outcomes. Okay, so possible outcomes, three of cups. You're going to have a chance to celebrate this week. You're going to have a chance to feel festive, to feel joy with people that are of your tribe, kindred spirits, people that uh, uh, like to listen. And this is an opportunity to share, to catch up, to connect, to lay down your burdens, to toast the blessings that you have in your life. So that's a nice, it's a nice thing to have in terms of when you have conflict and when you need rest, you have a lot of happiness here, but you also have this thing of having to let go. And so whether you are celebrating the end, <laughs> the end of a crappy job, a lousy relationship, right? A, a location that you are not happy living in. This is a card of joyfulness with your friends. Could be a happy hour, could be a party, could be going to the movies. It's some opportunity to get together. These emotional interactions that we have with our friends, they're important. 
because they help to keep the joy flowing in our life, the expression of love, the expression of care and concern. So to me and what I see, the good news for the week is that with death and the end of something is here we're, we're looking at the magician. And the magician brings to us the opportunity to really believe in ourselves and to have faith. The universe tells us that we have all the tools that we need. We gain skills. We, we learn. We, we get educated. We become masters of certain talents and certain things. Ultimately, ultimately it's up to you to put them all together, to blend them just right, and to make it happen. It's not going to just be uh, this amazing thing that materializes for you, you have to do the work. You have to have the plan. You have to create the magic. But you also have to put it into motion, which is taking the steps to do so. So the magician is a card of the beginnings of manifestation, of manifesting the life that you want, what you want, how you want it to look like, are you visualizing and are you, are you thinking that this is, when I'm in this place, this is how my life is going to be? And that's a very powerful tool, which is this sense of um, visualizing as if, as if you're already there. So the magician, uh, with these three big cards, the majors of the magician, death, and the sun, something is being cleared for you that cleared the way for something new, improved, that's going to maximize your talents and your abilities. Doesn't mean that the road is easy, but you have things to celebrate in terms of this creation of a new path that's going to be the right path for you. So powerful reading. So let's go ahead and get uh, a practice area or meditation point for the week. What are the messages that we want for this? Ancestor spirit, connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. So letting a family wound heal is allowing things to end perhaps gracefully with peace. Putting a peaceful end to some strife or some conflict. So that you can move forward. You're going to have happiness. You're going to have joy. You're going to have good relationships. You have celebrations ahead. You have opportunities to create and to take advantage of your abilities and your skills. So let's choose an oracle card for spirit or emotional self. Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. A place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. And so with the Four of Swords, it certainly is an opportunity for you to recover and to restore for the changes and for the things that are happening within your life as you're making some moves, perhaps. And finally, let's get a card and choose a message and insight for love. Transformation. Use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. When you are aware of yourself, of your hopes, of your dreams, of the reality, and where you're not uh, 
denying certain things. Maybe you accept your flaws and you at least try to make some progress. Then it puts you in a position to be able to transform. And so transformation can come from ideas or thinking or um, uh, things that need to end within your life, whether they're relationships, work-related, friendships. You know, sometimes when things die off, it puts you in a position for incredible growth, transforming with the, with the magician. It's on your shoulders. No one's going to give it to you. You have to capture your talents, your abilities. You have to make things happen. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something here that resonated with you. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And I wish you a fantastic week, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.